Hello, hello, it is Carrie here and I hope that you are having a wonderful day, whatever you're doing. In these strange times with this pandemic going on, we are still in lockdown here in the UK, so um, not that much has changed in my life because I was used to working from home, although we did move into an office for a whole two weeks before we all had to work from home again. <laughs> not quite sure if that was the universe sending me a sign, Carrie, do not get an office, do not work from an office, too late was a cry. Um, but anyway, with everything going on, it gave me inspiration to create this for you. Um, I wanted to talk about how we can all make money online. Now, there are two things for this. One, right now, people who have online businesses are on the whole doing a lot better um, than people with offline businesses. That's not to say that online businesses aren't impacted. I definitely have heard people talking about having online businesses where they have really been impacted because of what they do. So for example, someone has an online business in our membership that is to do with travel and she's really been impacted right now um, because obviously people can't travel because the world is in lockdown. Um, but I really wanted to talk about um, ways to make money online and ideas and also I asked inside of our members club for people to share how they make money online so that it could maybe give you inspiration to show you what's possible so whether you've started a business yet whether you've not started a business yet I just wanted to show you what's possible because whether you have started or you've not started hearing these ideas and suggestions might spark an idea for another revenue stream or might just spark an idea for a business in itself and I think it's always really fascinating to hear how people are making money online and how people are making money doing what they love. Um, and I just think this is such an important thing because forget what's going on in the world right now. You know, it is so important that we do spend our lives doing something that we love. Work makes up the majority of our day. And if we are not spending that time doing something we love, then what is the point in it all? Like that was honestly what I was asking myself back in 2011, when I'd spent the previous three years feeling utterly frustrated and really down because I was doing something that I didn't enjoy. I was running a business that was mobile phone unlocking, not exactly the most inspiring thing in the world. And I just felt so utterly miserable. And um, I remember getting to February 2011 and finally having my day of, uh, as Jim Rohn calls it, day of disgust, where I was just like, what the heck am I doing in my life? I cannot do this anymore. I'm so disgusted by the fact that I spent the past three years feeling crap about everything. I, I can't keep doing this to myself. It's time for me to step up and figure out how I'm actually gonna live the life of my dreams. Because in that time I'd watched from the sidelines as other people were building businesses, doing what they loved, doing things they were passionate about, doing things that lit them up. And I was like, I want that to be me. So I just, really all of a sudden in 2011 decided that that needed to be me it had to be me i have got one life in which to make it as amazing as i possibly can and i could not wallow in my confusion and doubts and worries anymore and so in 2011 i gave myself permission to follow my dreams and to do something i was passionate about there's a great um video online where jim carrey was giving a speech and he said he learned from his dad that you can fail at what you don't want to do in life. So you might as well take a chance on what you do love. And I just think that's so powerful. Um, and so now in the world we live in, we all have the ability to tap into the power of the internet to be able to build really successful businesses. And for me, this is what I've been doing for the past, I mean, since 2005, a really long time. Um, and. I have come to realize that there are so many opportunities for all of us to make money doing what we love online. And so I wanted to talk to you about some of these ideas, five ways you can make money online. There are obviously more ways, but um, I just wanted to share these five ways and um, maybe it might spark something for you, but here we go. The first way you can make money online doing something that you possibly love, um, that this could work for you, is to sell and create digital products. So when I say digital products, I mean things like um, you could sell digital wall prints. You could, um, for example, like uh, you could create digital PDF workbooks. So 
Michelle, who um, I work with Michelle Raw, we work together, but she also has her own business called the Secret Owl Society. And she started making this thing that she called her ultimate life binder, where she put questions inside this workbook to help people to, you know, get organized and think through every area of their life with intention. And she, I think, originally sold it for $21. I think it's now over 40. She has, last time I spoke to her on it, she'd made like over $80,000 selling this digital printable. She sold it on Etsy. People went to her Etsy store, bought this from her Etsy, then sent it to them digitally. She didn't even have to do anything. And she's sold so many of them, it continues to grow. She messaged me this morning because we were talking about, I wanted to interview her about something. And um, she told me about a different digital product that she'd created. Um, so listen to this. She said, in mid-March, Amy and I collaborated on a product that we could sell to my community, a digital planner template that people could just decorate and sell and not have to create from scratch. We priced it at $50 and launched a minimal viable version with the promise of adding more bells and whistles later. After three emails to a list of 3,800 people and Instagram posts on social to a following of 2,000, it made $15,000 in revenue. We also had a bump offer for $7 and that has added an additional additional $1,000. $16,000 right there in probably not much time at all from sending three emails and posts on social media to an audience of 2,000 people with a digital product that was $50. So my question to you is, is there something digital you could create? Like, could you, would you be interested in creating workbooks and printables like if you think about your area of expertise your talents what you're good at the knowledge that you have that perhaps is so powerful and impactful for other people is there are there things you could share with people in the form of a digital product like a digital download a pdf a workbook a guide um, that people might be willing to pay for i bet there is i bet you've got something inside you that people would love to pay for if you created it other digital products might include things like um audio programs or i've actually recently just created an audio program or you could sell i we also have um, audio visualizations so if you like visualizations if you like doing meditations could you create some of those and sell them online um I, like I said, I ask my members for what they do. So in terms of digital products, um, um, Ibru said um, she has planner and recipe, uh, recipe template printables on Etsy. So planner and recipe templates, that's what she creates and she sells them on Etsy. Um, Melanie said, I sell step-by-step -step painting tutorials online for both kids and adults, uh, which is amazing. Um, so, oh, Alexandra Wall, I love this one. I help busy professionals launch their dream clothing brands. I sell digital PDF sewing patterns and, print and printable fashion file packs, educating people on everything from fashion design through to pattern cutting and construction so they can download their ideal wardrobe and make perfect fitting clothes. I mean, that is an incredible idea that she has brought to life in the form of a business and something that she's passionate about. Stacey says, I'm a photographer. Okay, so obviously a photographer is a service-based business in, in real life, but she said, I am very thankful that I created an online course. I sell, um, I offer a self-esteem mindset and photography course for entrepreneurs. So she's taken her skill and knowledge of her business building, her business as a photographer, and she's turned it into an online course, which obviously at the moment is amazing for her because she can continue to sell that where she can't continue her photography business right now with everything going on with this pandemic. I know that right now at this particular moment in time, we are in a particularly unique situation, which isn't the norm really, obviously. Um, Elizabeth said online, she has an online course for helping women reach their best health. Um, and that's another thing, a digital product. You could create a digital course that is a digital product. We have courses. I have a course teaching people how to create, how to start and grow a successful membership site. It's a course we teach. It's $197. Well, that's the discounted price actually, but $197. And I have video tr trainings where I created videos that people can go through. There's a guide that people can go through and it shows you literally how I've built my membership site. And that is something that we sell. And that has generated six, over six figures from a course. So, um, this is what is possible you know could you create a course is there knowledge within you that would enable you to create a course that you could teach um to other people um 
you could also, I like this as well, um, uh, Kristen said, I have a wellness stock photo membership site. So basically she's taken stock photos of wellness, of anything to do with wellness, and she's got a membership site where she people can access those wellness images from her. So she's taken her skill as a photographer and turned it into a digital membership site. Um, Emma said, I have programs and services to help people overcome insomnia and sleep problems. So literally any topic, people are people out there are so interested to learn and develop and evolve. And I think sometimes we overlook our knowledge and our own expertise and we think, well, who would want that? Or you just assume that everyone knows what you know and that is simply not the case. Um, so yeah, so loads of different ideas for digital products. Um, there's another one here, Louise Cowley. She has an online graphic design platform where users can create professional looking designs quickly and easily. It's called Designster. Um, and for, and um, so for example, with Louise creating, she's created an online platform. Like, so what she's created obviously has taken a lot of uh, thought, time, production to create that. But again, she's taken her passion. She solved a problem because she obviously felt like there wasn't a, a good enough platform for graphic design. For, for graphic design, and so she's gone and created one, and that's amazing. So again, especially with well, with anything, it's like as entrepreneurs, we're looking at like how we can solve problems for people, how we can be of service talking about service for another idea of obviously creating and making money online doing what you love is creating a service so um it could be as a graphic designer and um, providing your services to other people you work from home still you work wherever you want in the world you people find you online people find you through the internet you do everything virtually but you provide a graphic design service or a copywriting service or an seo service so for example here in the in the members club um sorry said i am a specialist anxiety coach and psychotherapist and i have a wonderful little online membership uh, members club helping people transform their relationships with anxiety uh, marion said um she's a web designer and she provides seo services um, search engine optimization so again like taking her area of expertise and selling it online giving going saying to people hey i can help you with this you can hire me um carla said i'm a clinical psychologist and parent infant psychotherapist i help mothers experiencing challenging parenting with her well-being mental health and maternal confidence as well as helping them follow up their child's development path and i asked her do you do this all online and she said yes like, wow, you do all of that online by leveraging the internet. You're connecting with people probably from all over the world or, or, or maybe just in where in the country's in, but supporting those people. And that is phenomenal. Um, Kara said, I have an online membership for dance teachers and kids activities providers who want to learn how to grow their businesses, previously training them to market themselves at schools and nurseries, but now I'm training them to take their business online during this time. So she has an online business and she's pivoted slightly in with with what's going on but she's been able to pivot and offer stuff and continue to offer online and keep her business going um so maybe that'll give some ideas for you know any pivot you might need to make um dawn said i offer celestial guidance and healing sessions there is no end to the, the services we can provide um and the opportunities that we've got to share our um our knowledge our expertise with other people but also to be able to come up with ideas like what louise did with the graphic design platform and create a platform and to be able to leverage the power of the internet to reach millions of people to provide a service um so we've got pinterest strategists um people who uh galita i help people with emo um, healing emotional pain mindset and act activating creativity with healing coaching through zoom audio shamanic healing ses sessions online courses and soon group coaching so um so yeah so that leads me on to another type of service you can offer online you could create a mastermind or online group coaching program so um this is something that tends to be a more on the higher end in terms of pricing so you would typically charge more for a mastermind or a group coaching than you would say a course or a digital product but it's where you can help people and work with people in a group so a mastermind might be anywhere from like you know five to i've seen masterminds with like 150 plus people in but typically it typically is usually around 
10 to 20 people in a mastermind and you come together um, online you uh, the masterminds i've been in where we've come together online through zoom calls and where the person who's running the mastermind helps support you helps answer your questions um and it's really really powerful so then that is another option for um a type of business you could run online um, and making money, doing something that you're passionate about, doing something that you love. Um, other things, you could become a coach. So for example, again, tapping into your expertise, tapping into your, uh, you know, what you are really good at, how you can help people and coaching people one-on-one. -on -one. So we've got, for example, Jeannie, she says, um, I'm a post-divorce coach. So I mean, how many people need that and need what she's offering? You could become a coach or you could coach. You could maybe add that on to what you're doing and help serve people one-on-one. -on -one. You could have one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls with people. Um, that's what I've done in the past. Whenever I work with a coach, I still do work with coaches and I have Zoom calls with them where we chat for an hour about a specific topic and it's the most helpful thing ever. And I would happily continue to pay money for those sessions. Um, and then finally, the fifth idea is um, selling physical products online. So you can leverage the power of the internet to sell physical products. And I, I mean, there's obviously no end to the different types of physical products that we can all create, but the internet is such a powerful place for us to be able to actually reach millions and millions of people and sell our physical products. So in the members club, Madeline says, I sell silk scarves online. I design the patterns myself. I couldn't get a job after uni and I printed textile um, as a printed textile designer. So I decided to start my own business i'm now doing my dream job um so you could sell health as um, someone said they, she sells health and wellness products tacrisha um, sells her own gourmet tea love it um joanne i sell my art and products with my art on them e.g accent cushions bags mugs on etsy i'm also in the process of launching thanks to carrie an online membership for creatives called the creative business collective which is amazing but again yeah you can sell your art online you can put your art on products and then sell those products on places like etsy you know etsy is the most amazing marketplace georgina said i sell personalized gifts and keepsakes um, laura says i run a subscription box for cats and book lovers i just love it I just love the things that people do and how people make money with their ideas. It's, it's incredible. Um, Melissa said, I sell magnetic lashes and other cosmetics online. Bridget, I create beautiful limited edition kimono style tops from pre-loved saris and donate 10% of profit to children's mental health charity place to be, which is amazing. Tracy sells handcrafted jewelry. Um, Sarah says, I have an online shop selling professional eyelash products to salons around the UK. We also offer trainings, but as you can imagine, we have been hit hard. However, um, I've been given permission to take our course online with a global accreditation and they are selling like hotcakes. So again, an example of someone who has both, you know, online, offline type business, but she's pivoted to help do more online so that she can keep thriving throughout this incredibly strange time. Um, so. So yeah, so I just wanted to make this so you can see that there are millions of people out there doing so many unique, wonderful, amazing things and just adding so much value to the world that people are impacted so positively from. And we can all do this. And I know for me, back in 2011, before I started FEA, I was I was hiding, like I was sat on the sidelines watching other people live their dream life and build their dream businesses and feeling like to follow my passions and for my dreams, it felt silly. I felt like I wasn't good enough. But the truth is we are good enough. And now a lot of people as well are feeling like now isn't the right time to be starting new things and to be selling. Now is the right time. We all need these things. And I think, um, you know, we all need to, to do this and support the economy because we can. Um, and so if you, yeah, whether or not you have an online business or not already, um, hopefully this has just maybe sparked inspiration. Maybe you've had ideas simmering below the surface that you've just not done anything with for ages. And so now you're just like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get my ideas out there. But there are so many wonderful ways that we can make money doing things that we love and i feel like that is what life is about is it's trying to live our best lives and trying to live every day doing things that we're passionate about and work is such a huge part of our lives and it should be something that we are passionate about and we have the opportunity to do it is it going to be easy and then walk in the park probably not
<laughs> but you have all the help out there that you could ever need. I mean, you're already part of the Female Entrepreneur Association and we've got tons of support for you, but like, you can do this. You can create so much success from your ideas that are in your head, from your passions, from the things that you love. Um, you just have to open yourself up and get really creative and truly believe that you can do it. Because if all these people and myself included can do it, we all can. Um, so anyway, I just hope that this has inspired you, maybe lit that fire back up. And um, I would absolutely love for, to hear from you as well. So definitely leave me a comment and let me know what you do. So if you're already making money online, doing what you love, leave a comment and let me know what it is that you do so that you can inspire everyone else in the comments so they can see what it is that you do. Um, also, and this is re kind of related, but um, I actually made this last year, but it's taken us a while to get it out there. Last year, I actually created an audio program called Make Money Doing What You Love um, because it was like the number one thing I kept getting asked about, like, well, how do I actually make money doing something that I love? So I put an audio program together. I also put a workbook together and my guided visualization for financial abundance. And I've put it all together in this program. And we, are, we have finally got it up on Teachable, ready to get out into the world. And as we are launching it, I want to put it on for a really special price so if you want to access the audio program you can do for just $27 um, it was supposed to be a lot more than that but um, but yeah it's $27 so if you want to grab that then go access it I'll leave the link somewhere for you to um, find it if you're listening to this on the podcast actually go to femaleentrepreneurassociation.com forward slash money and um, and yeah, that could be really helpful for you. Um, we also have our members club as well that I was reading these stories from. So if you're not part of the members club, but you want to be and you want access to that more in-depth training on how to build a successful business that goes in depth into like, there's so many masterclasses and we do so many live networking, virtual networking sessions and we've got an incredible Facebook group. We currently are running an offer for 50% off your first month with the code FEA50. So I will leave the link to that too if you want to come and join us. Um, but whether you join us or not on any of these things, I am here to support you. The whole of the team FEA are here to support you. Um, I'll keep making these videos and we've got masses of videos on the website that you can access to get so much value from. Um, but just never forget that this is your life and you're here to make it as amazing as you possibly can. I think that's the thing I remind myself of all the time. Like I want to live the best life ever and I don't want to let anything compromise that. And yes, we don't get to control everything that happens to us or all the circumstances we face, but we do get to choose how we respond. And so for me, I constantly look at how can I respond in a way that will help me to thrive will help me to get through this in the best possible way. And I think when we have that attitude, that positive attitude, we can create so much more success and happiness and abundance in our lives. So um, anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's got some sparks going for you. Um, and definitely subscribe if you've not already so you don't miss next week's video. And I will see you next week. Bye everyone.